Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here, and today I want to talk to you about overcoming depression and a simple technique that you can use to get yourself out of a tough time. So let's get to it. All right, so the technique I'm going to share with you today is quite simple. What I want you to do when times get really hard when you can't get out of bed in the morning, when you lack the motivation to do what you know you need to do. I want you to do one thing. I want you to say these four words to yourself over and over again while you are doing what the words are telling you to do. And the words are simple. The words are, don't think, just do. Because there's going to be times when you go through lethargic phases when change is going to come and it's not going to be the change that you want to hear when tough times are going to be ahead and you can get lost in the what ifs you can get lost in thinking about what you've lost in the past and what bad things might come in the future but so long as you are moving so long as you are doing something and not being suspended and spinning your wheels in thought which is laden with anxiety, you will be moving forwards and not backwards. People are depending on you to keep it together. Your children, your family members, the people you love are relying on you to do what it takes, to do whatever it takes for you to not only survive as long as possible, but for you to thrive in every possible way you can. Don't think, just do. Now this sounds quite simple because when we get lost in the what ifs, it can be this very complex thing. If you're too scatterbrained to focus on the hard stuff, do as much simple stuff as you can. But whatever you do, whatever you do, do not give up. Most people give up long before they have to because they think instead of do. Now, I'm not saying that you should not be thoughtful in your actions. I'm not saying that you should just do things haphazardly without thinking and without being proactive. What I'm saying that most of the things that you have to do in life are binary, meaning that you either do it this way or you do it that way. You go forward or you go backward. You turn this clockwise or you turn this counterclockwise. Most things simply aren't that complex. On the whole, yes, they may require some thought and that may induce some anxiety for people. But generally speaking, if you take things step by step and you don't overthink it and you just freaking do it, you're going to get where you want to go. You're going to be that person you want to be. You're going to be that person that people need you to be. As amazing as the frontal lobes of our brains are and the cerebral cortex as a whole is, it can also be a lot of people's greatest weakness because the body is capable of performing far more of these binary actions than the brain will allow it to because the brain gets lost in the what ifs. What if I don't do this well enough? Or what if I screw this up? What about last time I did it when it sucked? What if it's going to be too cold out? What if it's going to be too complicated? Blah, blah, blah. Just do. Don't think just do. Get your ass off the couch and move. Don't think about how hard something is going to be when you get there. Just get there. Because thinking about how hard it's going to be when you get there is going to make you not want to go there. So don't think about it. Just do it. It's simple. The brain gets in the way of most people. The cerebral cortex has brought us great things as a collective, as a species. But as individuals, it's robbed us of our potential because it gets in the way of us performing our best. Now, let me give you an example of what I mean by this. And once again, I'm not anti-cognition. I think that thinking things through, I think that having a strategy and a game plan, there is a time and place for that. But I'm talking about when you are in a really shitty place in life, when you do not want to get out of bed, when you got some bad news, when you got some news that life is going to be very very different and challenging in the near future because of some events that have transpired. I'm not going to say stay positive because I'm not talking about staying positive. I'm talking about keeping it real and I'm talking about moving forward. I'm talking about doing. 
because doing is the only thing that is ever going to bring anything positive. Thinking positive is fantasy land. Thinking positive is all about hope and hope is just a belief. You, without actually doing something, you can't expect any different results. So let me give you an example. I used to do parkour and I wasn't that great at it. You know, I wasn't doing any crazy backflips off 10 foot ledges or anything like that. But I was doing the basics. The reason why I did parkour is because I want to be capable of moving quickly through a city over various obstacles, whether I'm pursuing somebody or somebody is pursuing me. Now, what I found with parkour is that there would be a jump, maybe like a five or six foot, you know, jump from ledge to ledge. And you would look at it and you'd be like, man, I could never do that. If you think about it too much, see, the body is much more capable than the mind allows. The body can do the jump. It's just a matter of the mind lining up with the body's physical potential. Do you get what I'm saying? So what typically would happen is that you would hesitate and hesitate and the fear would kick in. The fear is healthy. I'm not saying you should just go and do something stupid. You know if you can do it. Deep down, you know if something is achievable. What often happens is that the brain will get involved at the last minute and then the person will screw the movement up. That's what happens. The motor capabilities of us are hardwired. There's a cheetah in everybody. There's a baboon in everybody. There's a lion in everybody. There's also a human in everybody. And yes, there, there's a time and place to think strategically and to use foresight use our frontal lobes to the best of our capabilities but generally speaking most of the automated tasks of the day 99 percent of the stuff that's going to build you into a brick shithouse that can deal with and process whatever life throws at it and that can build an empire out of nothing is going to be repeating over and over simple mundane boring binary tasks I can't remember who said it, maybe it was Isaac Newton, something about how, you know, people think that these great discoveries just happen overnight, but it wasn't. It was the result of thousands of micro experiments of results, which were either positive or negative. And it was the accumulation of that. Just like what you see on your screen right now is the result of millions of ones and zeros. That's what I'm talking about here. So don't think just get off your ass and do if you're having a hard time now when you're in your right mind space when you're motivated when you're pumped up that's when you want to be strategizing that's when you want to be using that frontal lobe and the more higher level cognition i'm talking about when you don't want to do something because i'm telling you guys it's in you it's very easy to stay motivated when you're on top but that is not what makes a survivor and a person who can adapt to changing situations. It's going to be your ability to not think and just do when it matters most. You don't need a freaking pill to get you through what you're going through. For thousands of years, we did not have happy pills. And people who didn't have happy pills, if they could not keep moving, you know what happened? They died. That's what happened. So this is how civilization has pussified the nation because it has deprived people of the experience of having to just do, to just do it, as Nike would say. And instead, it's nurtured this culture of sensitivities, which is ironically going to be what destroys the civilization that it created. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.